Rasashala Nirmana Vidhi. It's a construction of Ayurvedic pharmacy. So before we study the Parada and other Rasa Dravyas for the purpose of therapeutics, it is very important to have the knowledge of Rasashala, that is Ayurvedic pharmacy, because Rasashala is studied under the heading of a few steps, that is the selection of the place or construction of the building, that is a pharmaceutical building, then the selection of the teacher, selection of the student, then the selection of the Rasavaidya and the other attenders are the main picture of this Rasashala. Okay. So for the therapeutics are to treat any of the patient as you have studied in Ashtanga Rudaya, Bishak Dravyani Upastata Rogi Pada Chatustayam. The basic four pillars of the success in the treatment are Vaidya, then Aushada is more important. So that's what before going to therapeutics, it is very important to learn regarding the processing of the drug, especially in Rasa Shastra. So before using mercury and other such metals and minerals for internal use, it's their processing is more important. So their processing and the preparation of medicines are carried out in Rasa Shala. So that's what the knowledge regarding the Rasa Shala are pharmacy that is the Ayurvedic pharmacy is most important one. So that's what our Acharyas, they have given more importance to this Rasa Shala or Beshaja Gar. Okay. So they have given importance to the arrangement of this Rasa Shala, the interior arrangement regarding the based on the Vastu, based on the directions they have given, they have concentrated more on the interior plans are the arrangement of the Rasa Shala according to this. Okay. So let us see what is the meaning of Rasa Shala. Rasa, as you know, it indicates the Parada or any Rasa Dravya. Shala is Bhavanam. Okay. So the word Shala is derived from the root that is Shalgatam. So, Rasa Shala means it is the Ayurvedic pharmacy or you can consider it as a Beshaja Gara where the processing of medicines are where the processing it may be Shodhana process, it may be Marana process or it may be Bhavana process. So, these processes are or these Samskaras are carried out in Rasa Shala. Clear? So, let us see the definition of Rasa Shala. Shalaha Tarus Kanda Shaka Shala Bhavanam Ishanti. So Shala is, it's a building which is constructed with the help of the basic materials such as the parts of the plants. The building where the medicines are prepared, the processing of mercury is carried out. So that place is named as Rasa Shala. Next point comes the selection of the place for the Rasa Shala. So, selection of the place for the Rasa Shala is more important one. So, where we need to construct the Rasa Shala. So, that point is very much important while studying the construction of Rasa Shala. So, as quoted in Rasa Ratna Samuchaya, so Rasa Shala should be constructed uh, in uh, such a place which is devoid of all sorts of fears. Okay, so as quoted in the reference loka, according to Rasaratna Samuchaya, reference loka is Atanka Rahita Deshe Dharma Rajya Manorame Uma Maheshwaro Pete Samrudde Nagare Shubhi Kartavyam Sadhanam Tatra Rasarajasya Dimata. So here, the building should be constructed in a, such a place which is devoid of all sorts of fear. Means it should be free from any sorts of atanka, that is fear. That is atanka rahita deshi. Dharma Rajya. Dharma Rajya means where the ruling is done 
by the king with righteousness. Okay, the king always who think regarding the well-beingness of the society of the people of his country. So in such a place, we need to construct the Rasa Shala. Okay, that is Dharma Rajya. Manorame. Manorame means it should be beautiful. Okay. Uma Maheshwar Ropete, where the people are the of that particular area or that particular place should be devotee of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. That is Uma Maheshwar Ropete. Uma is Parvati. Maheshwar is Lord Shiva. Samruddhe Nagare Shubhi. Samruddhe means here it indicates where are the medicinal plants or the basic source materials are easily available. Okay, where there will be abundance of the all the medicinal herbs. So in such an area, we need to choose for the construction of Rasashana. Uma Maheshwaro Pete Samruddhe Nagare Shubhi. Kartavyam Sadhanam Tatra Rasarajasya Dimata. So in the Rasendra Chudamani also for the same concept location, they have quoted another shloka that is Rasashala Prakurvita Sarva Bhada Vivarjita Sarva Ushada Maye Deshe Rame Kupa Samanyate. So meaning is same. So Rasashala Prakurvita Rasashala should be constructed in Sarva Bhada Vivarjita. It should be free from all some of the Bhada or obstacles. Okay. Sarvaushada Maya Desha. Sarvaushada Maya Desha means where all the medicinal plants are easily available. Okay. Rammi should be beautiful. Kupa Samanviti. Kupa Samanviti means here he has added this word because uh, it should, that area should be facilitated with water. So here Kupa is well. Okay. Then next comes the construction of the build. So that is a Bhavana Nirmana where the building should be means after selection of the place so there we need to construct the building. Huh? So that part construction of the building. Bhavana Nirmana. So actually it is a continuation of the same shloka Rasaratna Samuchaya 6th chapter 12th shloka. Atyanta Upavane Ramme Chatur Dwara Upashotite Tatra Shala Prakartavya Su Visterna Manorama Samyak Vatayano Peta Divya Chitrahi Vichitritaha. So here the meaning is so after selecting the place, so the building should be constructed in the center of an garden. Upavana. Upavana means Vana is forest, Upavana is garden. So after selecting the place, the proper place for the construction of Rasashala, so in the center of the garden, okay, where all the medicinal plants are easily available, in such a garden, we need to construct the building. Okay, in the middle of the garden, that is Upavana, so we need to construct the pharmacy building with four boundary walls okay having different compartments having different chambers so we need to construct a big building in the center of the garden having four boundary walls and four main entrances that is chatushwaraha so the compound should be big and it should have four main entrances that is chatur dwara yuktam atyanta upamane ramme chatur dwara upashobiti tatra shala prakurya in such a place we need to construct the building it should be spacious that is su it should be spacious means the building should consist of more spacious and maximum number of chambers or the rooms for the allotment of different functioning areas. Okay. Manorama should be beautiful. Then Samyak Vataya no It should be must have good ventilation. Vataya no Pete. Vataya no Pete means it should be spacious. It should be having free ventilation. Okay. Must have good ventilation. 
देन दिव्य चित्र ही विचित्रिता दिव्य चित्र ही विचित्रिता मीन्स द वॉल्स ऑफ द बिल्डिंग द इंटरनल वॉल्स इन दिन साइड द बिल्डिंग द वॉल्स ऑफ द बिल्डिंग शुड बी डेकोरेटेड विथ आर डिस्प्लेड विथ डिफरेंट पिक्चर्स सच एज लार्ड शिव गॉड एस पार्वती रससिद्ध नागार्जुन भैरव अंड ओके देन रसेश्वर ध्वज शुड बी होस्टेड ऑन द टेरेस ऑफ द बिल्डिंग ओके ऑन द टेरेस ऑफ द रसशाला वी नीड टू होस्ट द रसेश्वर ध्वज रसेश्वर ध्वज मीन्स द भगवा ध्वज द फ्लैग विथ ऑरेंज कलर ओके देन ऑल द फोर साइड्स ऑफ रसशाला should be decorated with the symbols of purity the symbols of purity means just like a temple for example like torana pushpamala etc etc should be displayed around the rasashala clear so this is the method of construction of the building for rasashala okay so these are the references for rasashala rasaratna samuchaya 6th chapter रसरत्न समुच्चय सेवेंथ चैप्टर रसतरंगिनी फर्स्ट चैप्टर थर्टीन श्लोक सो इन दीज रेफरेंस विल गेट द डीटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन रिगार्डिंग द रसशाह सो देर इज अ लिटिल बिट वेरिएशन इन बिटवीन द रेफरेंस ऑफ रसरत्न समुच्चय एंड रस तरंगि ओके सो दिस इज कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रसशाला अकॉर्डिंग टू रस तरंगि द मीनिंग इज से so let us see rasashala karma vibhaga rasashala karma vibhaga means the arrangement of the rasashala according to disha okay so as we concentrate on vastu shastra before constructing the house in the same way in rasashala also we need to focus on these points okay arrangement of the rasashala that is rasashala karma vibhaga according to disha okay so reference shloka is rasaratna samuchaya 7th chapter shri mandir lagan pasun geu mhanna to ami vichar to madam la jara mhanna ka sangta okay amma to paral to upar jara lagu so rasashala karma vibhaga Reference shloka is Rasaratna Samuchaya, seventh chapter, third shloka. Shalayam purva dik bage stapayet rasabhairavam. So that is according to Disha. So in this shloka, we will get the description regarding the arrangement of Rasashala according to different directions. Rasashala shalayam purva dik bage stapayet rasabhairavam. One he karmani cha agneye. या में पाषाण कर्म च नैरुत्य शस्त्र कर्मा वारु में क्षालनाक शोषण वायुकोणे चेदकर्म उत्तरे तथा स्थापन सिद्धवस्तूना प्रकुरिया ईशकोन के पदार्थ संग्रह कार्य रसापन हेतुक सो पदार्थ संग्रह कार्यो रससाधन हेतु फॉर रस साधनार्थ फॉर द प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ नर्सरी वन हैज टू मेक ऑल दिस अरेंजमेंट्स इन डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन ओके सो दट इज इन पूर्व दिशा वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल द रस भैरव दट इज रसाला पूर्व दिग्भागे स्थापय रस भैरव दट इज रस भैरव इज नथिंग बट द डायवल ऑफ द लार्ड शिव सो इन द सेम डायरेक्शन so in the puru disha only so in the center of the rasamantapa we need to install the idol of lord shiva that is bhairava so in the same way one he karmani cha agneyam agni karma should be carried out in agne disha then pashana karma should be carried out in dakshina disha shastra karma should be carried out in nairuti disha then the preservation of the water and water bodies are done in paschima disha then the drying the medicinal herbs or the wet drugs are dried in vayupikona then the vedana karma that is conversion of the lower metal into higher one is carried out in 
उत्तर दिशा देन इन ईशान्य दिशा ऑल द प्रिजर्व सॉरी ऑल द प्रिपेयर्ड मेडिसिन्स दैट इज द सिद्ध औषधि सर प्रिजर्व इन ईशा कोना सो दिस वाज द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ रसशाला अकॉर्डिंग टू दिशा सो लेट अस सी दिस पार्ट इन डिटेल रिगार्डिंग द वर्किंग एरिया so the working arrangement of rasashala have been divided into eight divisions based on the directions or the disha so in this way we need to arrange the rasashala or ayurvedic pharmacy even it is named as beshaja garna clear so first one is shalaya purva dik bhage sthapaye rasabhairavam so the statue of rasabhairava that is lord shiva which is prepared out of mercury and the gold so it is actually it is a rasalingu okay rasalingu which should be uh, installed in eastern direction of the rasashala uh, in the center of the rasamandapa okay so in the eastern direction we need to construct a small platform which is named as rasamandapa so in the center of the rasamandapa rasa lingu that is rasa bhairava should be installed okay so let us see the construction of rasamandapa in eastern direction of the rasashala so i told you know in the eastern direction we need to construct the rasamandapa so for the rasamandapa again in rasaratna samuchaya 6th chapter he has given the he has given the clarification how to construct the rasamandapa a separate chamber for the installation of rasalingu tat samipe tat samipe means near to rasashala especially in the eastern direction tat samipe same dipte kartavyam rasamandapa ati guptam suvistirnam कपाट अर्गल शोभित ध्वज चक्र पिताट्यम पुष्पमाला विलंबित बेरी काहल घंटादि श्रृंगी नाद विनादित भू सम त्र कर्तव्य सुदृढ़ दर्पणोपम तन्मध्ये वेदिका रम्यम कर्तव्यम लक्षणा so here after construction of the rasamandapa in the center tan mad last line tan madhye vedika ramya vedika means we need to make a construct a vedika that is a stage so on that stage we need to install the rasalingu okay so rasamandapa is constructed nearby rasashala in eastern direction in a plain surface area okay same dipte sama sama means it should be plain surface okay it should be constructed in a plain surface it should be wide spacious then the portion should be provided with large arches and gates that is kapat and argala it is decorated with arches and the gates then it is decorated with dwaja chatra vidana and pushpamala okay then always there should be ringing sounds of drums that is bheri bells that is gantanada shrunga okay shrunganada they should be always ringing over there okay then bhu samaha tatra kartavya sudruda darpana upama darpana is the mirror okay the floor should be firm and even and it should be glistening like mirror means we need to maintain cleanliness over there okay so in the center of that rasamandapa a vedika a stage is constructed so in the center of that stage we need to install the rasa lingu okay so installation of the rasa lingu how to prepare the rasa lingu so rasa linga it is a shivalinga which is prepared out of gold leaves and the mercury okay so if you want i will read out the shloka rasaratna samuchaya 6th chapter 11th shloka nishkatrayam hemapatram rasendram navanishkakam amlena mardaye yamam 
तेल लिंग प्रमाण मीन थ्री मार्शस वन निष्क प्रमाण इज थ्री मार्श सो फॉर द प्रिपरेशन फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ रसलिंग वि नीड टू कलेक्ट थ्री निष्क प्रमाण हेम पत्र दट इज अ गोल्ड लीव दे नईन निष्क शुद्ध पारद बोध दिस हेम पत्र अंड शुद्ध पारद आर् कलेक्टेड इन अ क्ली वाटर दे आडिंग जंबीर निंबू सुस क्रेचुरेशन इज डे आम्ले मर्दयेत याम वन याम काल मीन थ्री अवर्स सो इट इज क्रेचुरेटेड इन कलव यंत्र फार थ्री अवर्स दे वी नीड टू गिव डिजायर्ड शेप That is the shape of Shiva Linga. Then again, it is boiled in dola in the containing kanjipa one. Okay, actually, the continuation of the shloka is dola in three sara in two jambi rastam dinam pachu tat lingam pujaye tatra sushubaihi upachare. So this is the method of preparation of rasa lingu or Shiva Linga. Okay. Then what are the benefits of worshiping this Parada Linga or the Rasa Linga? Koti Linga Koti Sahasrasya Yat Phalam Samyak Archana Tat Phalam Koti Gunitam Rasa Lingam Archana Bhavet. So Rasa Linga, the Mercury, the Shiva Linga, which is prepared out of Mercury, is considered very, very, very auspicious. Okay. So, if the person worships this Rasa Linga, that is a Mercurial uh, Shiva Linga, then if the Rasa Linga is worshipped by the people or the person, so he will get, he will acquire the benefits or the virtue of which is more than worshipping one thousand crore Shiva Linga. That is Linga Koti Sahasrasya Yat Phalam Samme Karchana. so whatever the benefits which are acquired by worshiping 1000 crores of shiva linga is is more means more means if the person achieves more than that if he worships the rasa linga so that is the importance of parada linga or rasa linga clear so it's regarding the arrangement of rasa shala in Eastern direction, Shala ya Puro Dikbaage Stapaye Rasa Bhairava. So Rasa Bhairava means that is the Rasa Linga which is prepared out of gold leaves and the mercury. So this Rasa Linga should be installed in the center of the Rasa Mantapa which is constructed in the eastern direction of the Rasa Shala. Clear. So it's regarding the benefit of worshiping Rasa Lingu. As I told you, Lingam koti sahasrasya yat phalam samme karchana tat phalam koti gunitam Rasa Linga archana bhavet. Okay. See, as per the references, if the person touches this Rasa Lingu, he will attain the salvation. So that is the explanation quoted regarding the Rasa Lingu portion. Clear. Yeah. so it's regarding the method of worshiping so while worshiping the rasalinga one has to chant the agora mantra okay 